Next, let's look at the hexadecimal number system. Now, a hexadecimal is also referred to in shorthand as simply being hex. Now, why do we care about hex? Because IPv6 addresses are written in hex, and so are MAC addresses. Okay. So, what's the big deal? What's different with hexadecimal? Now, binary is base 2, decimal is base 10, hexadecimal is actually base 16. Now, if you think about it, binary is easy because we have the digits 0 and 1. For decimal, we have the digits 0 up to 9. With hexadecimal, it says we have 16 digits, but we only have numbers from 0 through to 9. So that means we still need digits for 10 up to 15. And listen to what I'm saying. Digits. It needs to be a single digit per number. So you can't write down 10 because those are actually two characters written next to one another. We want a single character to represent a digit. So to do this, they decided, let's go to the alphabet. So in other words, hexadecimal uses 0 up to 9, and then for 10, it uses A, for 11, it uses B, for 12, it's C, for 13, it's D, for 14, it's E, and for 15, it is F. Okay, now if we take a look at these three columns, you'll see we've written down the decimal numbers 0 up to 16. Now, if you think about it, you'll see in the middle we have binary bit strings. Now, if you have a 4-bit binary bit string, the lowest value you can have is 0, which is reflected in the decimal column. If you go to the bottom of the column, you'll see that 15 is the equivalent of 1111, also known as 8 plus 4, which is 12, plus 2, which is 14, plus 1, which is 15. So every hex digit can be represented using only four binary bits. And that is very important to remember. Finally, in the last column, you will see the hexadecimal equivalents of the decimal digits. Um, this is just an example of what an IP version 6 address looks like. So where IP version 4 is 32 bits in length, an IP version 6 address is 128 bits in length. But it's written in hex. And we've already heard that every 4 bits represents a single hex digit. So divide 128 by 4 and you wind up with 32. So an IP version 6 address is 32 hexadecimal digits in length. Now, in a later chapter or module, we get back to how we can actually write down an IP version 6 address. Because you don't have to worry, you won't always have to write down 32 digits. Um, there are quite a few ways to write it down in a shorter format. Now, each of these four groupings, if you go and take a look at the IP version 6 address, every portion of the address is grouped. So in other words, they take four hex digits, group it, write down a colon, then four digits, write down a colon, four digits, write down a colon. Okay, so remember those are four hex digits. So in other words, four times four, it is actually 16 binary bits. Now every one of those four hexadecimal characters in a group is referred to as a hextet. Now, we need to know how to convert between dexdecimal and hexadecimal. And it's actually quite easy. If you already know how to convert between 
decimal and binary, vice, and vice versa, or back and forth, you can convert from decimal to hexadecimal. So let's see. If we want to convert the decimal number 228 to hex, the first thing we do is we convert it to a bit string. So that bit string over here is the binary equivalent of 228. In step two, we go and separate that bit string. Because remember, we said every hexadecimal digit is only four binary bits in length. So we split our bit string up into sections that are only four bits long. Then we go and individually convert, convert those four bit string lengths back to decimal. So the first one converts over to 14 and the second portion converts over to 4. Because remember the idea is we want to get to separate hexadecimal digits. So our first hexadecimal digit in this case is 14 and the second one is 4. But remember, according to the rules, we can't write down two digits or two characters for a digit. We need to write down a single hexadecimal digit. So in other words, we need to write down the hexadecimal equivalent of the number 14 in this case and also the hexadecimal equivalent of the decimal number 4, which just happens to be 4. So our final answer, we basically take the separated conversions and just squish them together again. So the final converted answer is E4. So the value 228 written in hex is E4. So to convert hexadecimal to decimal, we simply reverse the process. So if we want to convert the hex number of 7a to decimal, we firstly split the digits again, and then we convert them to their decimal digit equivalent. So 7 is 7, but a has a decimal equivalent of 10. In step 2, we convert those decimal numbers back up into binary and then in step 3 we simply convert or combine the separate bit strings back into a complete bit string and then we do a normal binary to decimal conversion which at the end of it results in 122 so the hexadecimal number 7a is the equivalent to the decimal number 122.